beholder of eyes. Oh, you wretched waste of flesh, I have warned you so many times to turn back, but still you walk on blindly. Very well, then, I will lead you to others that might quite literally help you to see the error of your ways. If you wish to proceed, know this. This involves none of the usual sights. There are no damnable institutions here, save for an optometrist's office. It is never immediately evident, but it is in every city. You need only look for the great red eye on the door. Watch for shadowy figures behind you before you knock. Should you see anything of that nature, depart for lands far away from civilization, for they will look for you with the sunken and unholy pits that were once their eyes. But if you do not see any, be sure to knock exactly three times upon the door. You will be let in by a woman wearing a white coat and a pair of blue sunglasses. She will tell you that her name is Emily, do not engage her in conversation, for she has no ears to do so. They have long since been torn off. The flaps you see are mere prosthetics. She did not heed my words. Instead, simply motion to the door and follow her inside. She will proceed to lead you down a large corridor. All the doors will appear as though they have been painted onto the walls. Appearances, you will soon find, are always deceiving within these confines. She will lead you to the third door from the end on the right side. It will be a piercing white, with the same red eye motif as the entrance. Emily will then turn to you, as if to say something. It is at this point that you must gouge her eyes out. She will not feel any pain, nor will she struggle. She is entirely beyond any of our senses now. If Emily smiles before she begins to drop, you will have no choice but to flee in whatever direction she has landed. For if you decide to enter the room anyway, those pitiful blind souls that now dwell within it will sense the possibility of new sight, and they will experiment upon your fragile flesh in ways I cannot begin to describe. For six days and six nights, until you are as Emily is now, if she does not do this, then all is as it should be. You may enter the room she led you to without fear of taking her place. A small girl will be sitting at a tea party in the far left corner of the room. Her eyes are long gone, replaced by small spherical mirrors. You must, at this point, say four words. Molly, I see you. If she trusts you, she will tell you to. Please wait. At that point. She will remove her mirror eyes and place them in your left palm. If she does not, she will simply say, Get out. Whatever the case may be, you must tell her the following. Thank you, Molly. Depart from the building the same way you came, and do not look back for any reason. The eyes are object 532 of 538. They will let you see where the remaining objects are. But be warned, some things were never meant to be glimpsed by mortal eyes. 